Uh, it also depends on what experiments you have planned. Sometimes, uh, ex especially like sometimes I know like my experiments can just go for a whole day. Uh, it's because I prefer it that way. Just pre when things are working, you just want to get things done. You know, so uh, you learn the hard way. You know, if you you things keep working, and one fine day you just come back and you you see things not working. So I think it's just it's just everyday basis. So you just want to get things done. So there'll be the there'll be this highly productive <coughs> phase, and then there'll be this lag phase, and then a productive phase. It's, like, it's a delta function. So. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so, uh, with me, it varies a lot. Uh, for example, if I have to if I have to write proposals, I spend all my time doing that for for usually about a month at a time. Um, but you know, if you average everything out, so I would typically spend you know, about an hour, two hours uh, with undergraduate, either teaching or office hours. Um, then maybe two, three hours with people in my group, uh, you know, graduate students, postdocs. Uh, then about maybe four hours of my own time, and then you know an hour of uh, colloquium, you know, seminars, or, and somewhere in there, and I kind of figure out it's probably a big, big chunk. Is that there seems to be lots of little junky things that I gotta do. Um, Paperwork, emails, uh, things like this. Um, yeah, uh, writing a grant. I, I just wrote my first grant, and it just takes a lot of your time. I can I can really sympathize with that. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it just takes so much of your energy and time. You know, you, so it, it, the end output does not seem so much, but uh, the effort you put into it is actually a lot. So I can imagine that. You know, like. Uh, so when you want to submit a grant, as you said, it's just not just a grant. You'll have to, you'll have to make sure that everyone in administration is all fine with that. Uh, as a grad student, the other thing is like you know you'll have to make sure that uh, you you plan you should plan everything. The planning part takes a lot of time, you know. So when you want to design an experiment, you should plan. You should make sure you have all the reagents. You should make sure you have ample time between things, and you should prioritize stuff. So. Uh, one thing that grad school will teach you is how to manage your time effectively. You, know? uh, you may not, you need not work like 12 hours or 24 hours a day, but you know, you have to work smart. I think that is the key to grad school. <coughs> Can you tell us about places that you've presented your research, um, kind of? Poster sessions or presentations? Have you been invited to other places? Your fan itself. Okay, I've never done anything with your fan itself, so there's no, no point to talk about that. So we have like a conference, it's the Biophysical Society. Uh, oh, so you guys can actually go for that. I, I, okay, I don't know if you're interested in that, but there is the Biophysical Society, and there are like undergrad programs in that, so that's something that's there. Then um, there's optics conferences, they're like really specific conferences that are there, like not, not the wrapping of the Aeron Piston conference mm -hmm. or something. No, sometimes when you get to uh, when you when you're working on some field, then things can get really specific, you know. And you'll think it's just tailor made for you, but then you'll realize that actually almost hundred people working on that issue. So, uh, yeah, you get really specific conferences, and then you have these really broad conferences in which you get to meet a lot of people. So that they like, do that kind of things. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, you should want more. Uh, you should want more on either side of the uh, ocean. <laughs> uh, you know, basically, maybe I travel once a month. Um, I go somewhere, either that's to a conference or to give a colloquium, which is more of a general audience thing, or a seminar, which is more specialized. Um, then during the summer, I usually try and go to something that's a little lengthier. The one thing that you may encounter are Gordon Research Conferences, which are, they typically last a week. And they're, you know, it's very casual. You know, a lot of interesting science gets done, and they're very focused. Or um, uh, so I haven't been to one of those recently, but this summer I was at Woods Hole for two weeks, and it was a very focused conference on what I do. So, are there any of those that you that you prefer, the specialized or the broad, which be either of you prefer? Well, I can tell you which ones I don't like. I'm going to one in a couple of weeks, which only lasts three days.
case thankfully but it's each talk is confined to 15 minutes so I just uh, like, are you presenting this I, I'm actually listening? presenting okay. yeah yeah I feel like I'm sure um, <laughs> but um, after after a day I find I can't process anymore um, so I, those are not my but but one of the big reasons I do go to it is that I get to see people whom I know you know and people whom I'm working with and so I, I, I don't spend as much time listening to the talks as I do talking to other people um, so those are the that's kind of my you know it's, I mean I actually I'm looking forward to this one but I don't like the conference itself um, but you know the one going to Woods Hole this summer was you know is very very nice you know I, I get to spend a lot of time thinking about things without other things getting in the way. You know, here it's very difficult to find a chunk of time where I can think. Um, there's usually something that's that interrupts. So, uh, for me, I think it's like apples and oranges. If it's like a really broad conference, uh, yeah, there, there's a greater chance that you know uh, I meet someone who is completely outside of my field offer a really insightful comments to uh, what I'm doing. Uh, if I'm going to go to a really specific conference, I, I know what progress is going on, what, what is the thing. And so uh, the other thing is like uh, any conference more than the scientific matter and everything, it's about networking. As a grad student for me, you get to know a lot of people who are working in the similar <coughs> And uh, it's that sort of this, you know, you so you know so and so is in so and so's lab and you know the next step of yours and you know what papers they're going to get and how that's going to affect your research and so on. Uh, you get to meet people, which is very important, uh, especially as a grad student, because grad student, grad, graduate life is not the end in any academic career. You're going to look at postdoctoral work and then you're going to look at uh, a research positions on there. So, uh, so that sort of helps you in the networking thing. It helps you know a lot of people. Do you think either, or do I know you think Either is more beneficial. I know they're like apples and oranges are really different, but do you think the network is more important or the broad learning about what else is going on in your field, even if it's a really broad, different topic? Uh, selfishly, I would prefer you know um, just the smaller one because personally that's a better thing. But uh, if I want to look at it very scientifically, I would prefer the uh, because I'm also in the learning stage, so uh, it's different than you're probably established. Yeah, I, I don't find the networking thing so so useful. I find it very useful to see people who I'm working with and you know, I need to talk to. Her. It's very difficult to talk to them remotely, um, so that's that's a very important aspect. Um, actually, learning things, I I find. And this is not a, a criticism of conferences, but I just find I can't learn much at them. I don't absorb much from them. Um, speaking of collaborations, like, do you guys mainly work with other like, professors or like, students within the university or across other universities? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, there's no, there's no, not much of a chance, so it's easy for the answer. So. Uh, we do, uh, okay, rather like we do talk to other people. So personally on my project, there is no collaboration or anything. I do get <laughs> advice from people on growing stuff and on other things, but it's a collaboration. No. So um, I, don't colla I don't collaborate with anybody at U of M. Um, there are people I go speak to, um, but all of my collaborators are how did you find those collaborators? Are they people you've worked with in your previous appointments, or did you, <coughs> how did you come um, into collaboration? Let's see, the two the biggest ones I have right now, one I met this person at a conference. Actually, I just said networking doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this was, we had a common interest, and he had, you know, he does computations, I do experiments, and it worked really well. Um, the other person I'm collaborating with is, uh, you know, I met them once when they came to where I was working and gave a talk, and you know, I knew them from them, and I knew what they, what what they were able. To
able to do what I brought them this problem. So, you know, those, that's my experience. Uh, yeah, I guess we, uh, we did have collaborations a lot, not with my project, but in other things. It's more like we are an experimental lab and there were like theoretical people who would work on that, who would get defined things. So, um, how it came, so the first, the people were from New York, so it's just easier. So. 